Today we are taking the boat to Corvo. to Corvo, next island. Yeah. <laughs> This is where we are going, Corvo, here. That is a glitch. Okay, and off we go. Corvo is the westernmost point of Portugal and also of the European continent. It is also the smallest of the nine islands of the archipelago of Açores. So here we are, we just arrived after a bumpy ride as you, as you could see. Here we are at Corvo and this is Flores where we just came from. Now we are heading to our camping spot. Windmill, beautiful eh? On our way, we get to see the beautiful old windmills, as well as the scenery along the eastern shore of the island, always having floors, the neighbor island at sight. Just arrived at our campsite. Look at this. There is a beautiful hill here. Gorgeous weather behind this small hill. There is the sea, and this is actually a small crater. We are going to go there, up there, today or tomorrow. And then here, just next to us here, we have some nice benches. Let me go up here on the bench to show you. Here, we have the Corvo runway with the windsack. And down there, down there, oops, sorry, Flores floors where we just came from. So hopefully we are not going to get woken up by a landing plane like an Airbus 380. But first we have to set up camp. So let's check how quickly we can put up this tent. And now it's time to walk up this mountain and go see the most famous landmark of the island, the Caldeirão. How is it? It's beautiful. And steep, right? And very steep. Ah. I shouldn't have listened to you. Yes, look at this. Wow. This is Corvo, here on the knees. And there is Flores. And we are going uphill to the crater. Up, up, up. <laughs> Always up. and all the way up from Vila do Corvo until the crater of the volcano and we are almost there.
This is the Calderon, as the locals call this crater, with its two kilometers of diameter. Farmers let their cattle graze inside the crater. I guess the grass must be delicious here. In the middle of the crater. Don't you think these are happy cows? I think these are very happy cows. Look at this. Wow. Unhappy cow. Unhappy cow. The photographer we met just down at the village, actually he brought us over. He's a photographer, the, the guy with the boat, and told us we should come for sunset. And he was definitely right. Let's check this out. Isn't it gorgeous? After the sun set, and after having spent more than five hours on the crater, we walked quietly back to town and back to our tent. We were enchanted and utterly impressed by nature and by what we had just experienced. How was your night? Very good. We slept very well. There were no planes, because the airport is just next by. That's the only place where they can put an airport in this island because it's flat and it's really very tiny. I don't know how they managed to land here. And it was the perfect temperature, not too cold, not too hot. It was quiet, there were stars. <laughs> and here is our sleeping temple. Gorgeous, our comfortable mattresses. Decathlon sleeping bags and our sea to summit mattresses they are amazing they're really cool very comfortable and they don't deflate and the sleeping bags are always down feathers so they are super comfortable comfy storage there and storage down there and you see when you take the cover out you can even sleep and see the stars But before heading back to Flores, and while we waited for our boat, we strolled around Villa do Corvo. In front of the church, we noticed some celebrations going on. Every year, the Corvinus, the inhabitants of Corvo Island, celebrate the Holy Spirit. And we were lucky, it was that day. During the celebrations, they organized a procession through town. And also an important feast at the main square, where all the islanders and visitors alike are invited for the sopas, a kind of soup made of bread and lots of meat. Kurvo was the first European region where all its inhabitants were vaccinated, and because of this, the Holy Spirit celebrations could take place this year. This fact alone made it into national TV, because it was the first event after a very long time of Covid lockdowns. 
pandemia. We leave you with a few images of Corvo Island and we hope you enjoyed this small video with us. And if you want to know more about the Açores, check our website as we will be publishing a magazine about the Açores very very soon. Thank you.